In the last video, we used Pratia software to simulate DC circuits, single phase AC circuit, and a three phase circuit. We used also AC and DC ammeter and voltmeter. Also, an oscilloscope to see the wavelength. In this video, we will continue our journey by learning other components and digital circuits. Consider subscribing to Electrical Engineering Planet channel to support our community. Also, don't forget to share, like, and let knowledge enlighten your world. Let's start creating a simple DC circuit. Search for a DC battery. Double click on it and search for a resistor. Here I will choose this generic resistor. Also, I will use this potentiometer. Double click on it. As you know, potentiometer is a variable resistor that you can change its resistance value. Let's search for LED or lighting emitting diode. I will choose different colors. Maybe we can choose green, red, and yellow. Press OK. Let's now draw the battery, a resistor, and the green LED. Let's center our camera and zoom in. Maybe I'll center it here. That's great. Let's connect our circuit. I will change the value of the battery to be 5 volt with no internal resistance. Now I will change the resistance value to be 100 ohm. Press OK. Let's simulate our circuit. And now as you can see, the LED has been illuminated. And practically we use this resistor to limit current that flow through the LED to protect it from burning. Now I will change this resistance to a potentiometer or variable resistance. Let's draw our potentiometer. Connect it here. The positive terminal, I will connect it to the positive terminal of the DC battery. The negative terminal to the negative terminal of the battery. And the third terminal will be connected to the LED. The potentiometer resistance is set to 1 kilo ohm. Press OK. Let's bring now a DC voltmeter and DC ammeter. This is the DC ammeter and the DC voltmeter. I will connect the DC voltmeter in parallel with our LED. Delete this wire and I will connect the ammeter in series with our circuit. I will set the ammeter display range to milliamps because the current here is a small value press ok let's simulate our circuit and as you can see here the resistance is set to 50 percent which means 500 ohm so the current will flow through the circuit will equal to 5.6 milliamps and the volt across this led will be equal to 2.18 volt and as you can see, the current is not too much, so the LED will not be illuminated completely. So now let's change the value of the resistance. By increasing this percentage, this means that we read in our circuit a smaller value of resistance. So now we are decreasing the resistance. And as we increase the resistance, the value of the current will increase and the voltage across this LED will increase. So the illumination of this LED will increase also. Until we reach to 100%, which means that we don't use this resistance. We use 0 ohm of this resistance. So the current will be too much and the voltage across it will equal to approximately 5 volt, which is the source value. Stop the circuit now and let's bring a new device called logic state. 
delete the circuit let's now search for a new device which is logic state I will choose this third result double click on it also search for a DIP or DIP switch and I will choose the DIP switch with three elements double click and then press OK the logic state is a digital circuit that have two status 0 and 1 0 is 0 volt 1 is 5 volt so let's bring a DC voltmeter and connect it here connect the logic state to the positive terminal of the voltmeter and from terminal modes I will choose a ground here I can have a ground connected to the negative terminal of the DC voltmeter and simulate our circuit here 0 is 0 volt 1 is 5 volt fantastic remove now the voltmeter and I will choose here the DEB switch this switch has three independent switches 6 is the input and 1 is the output for the first switch 5 is the input and 2 is the output for the second switch and 4 is the input and 3 is the output for the third switch I will connect here the three inputs of the switch to the logic states now let's draw three LEDs and connect each output to each LED The negative terminal of the LEDs will be connected together and will be connected to the ground terminal. Let's simulate our circuit now. The switch now is off, so every single LED will be in off mode. Now turn on any switch and the LED connected to it will be turned on. Turn the second switch and as you can see the LED will be illuminated the third switch will be illuminate this green LED let's turn off any switch and the LED connected to it will be turned off that's great as you can see the circuit is not well arranged because it has too much wires we can apply a track to arrange the circuit let's delete all these wires stop first the circuit the simulation and then delete these wires first click on the terminal of the logic state and move a wire and after a small pieces double click again now we have a wire that is not connected to any circuit right click on this wire and choose place wire label I will name this wire let's name it POS or positive terminal press OK now do the same for the three inputs create three independent wires right click on each wire place wire label and call it POS you have to name it exactly like this wire then press OK POS and for the third wire let's call it POS positive press OK now this wire is connected to all these wires but an invisible way let's do the same here I will draw a wire and I will draw here the same wire call this wire LED number one and here and here call it LED number one 
let's call this LED2 and do the same for the LED that is connected to it LED2 and at last connect LED let's call it LED3 and call this green LED LED3 for the other terminals let's draw the wires also let's draw the wire that's connected to the ground let's call it GND or ground let's call it GND you can name it as you want GND and GND fantastic let's simulate our circuit again now let's turn off the first switch and as you can see this LED has been illuminated the second switch and the third switch let's turn off the logic states and all the LEDs has been turned off fantastic in the next video we will create an advanced digital circuit and we will learn how to create a simple microcontroller circuit consider subscribing to electrical engineering planet channel to support our community also don't forget to share like and let knowledge enlighten your world thanks for watching